backstage for a majestic makeover of theatrical proportions. It is exciting to see it rising from the ashes. A 39 metre, 350 tonne tower crane brought in to help construct lifts and basements as Her Majesty's Theatre is brought into the modern era. Works began in April and since then the inside of the theatre has been gutted, allowing the construction team to set the scene for the installation of the building's framework. It's going to be this phenomenal combination of the historic and the contemporary. The $66 million redevelopment includes a new 1,472 seat auditorium over three levels, with the Grand Circle, which was boarded up during previous renovations, reinstated. Care has been taken to preserve significant remaining features, including this autograph wall, removed brick by brick. The original and iconic facade from 1913 also retained. This is the last remaining Tivoli Theatre, so it's very historic. We need to make sure there's no significant vibration that it's braced uh, to withstand significant winds like we've just recently had. The major redevelopment has created 220 construction jobs with more than 100 people expected to be on site during peak times. The economic benefits expected to continue once the larger theatre reopens with more performances said to make their way to Adelaide. The central market, Chinatown, the restaurants, the accommodations are going to benefit because there are going to be so many more shows here. The Adelaide Festival Centre Foundation is looking to raise $5 million to help cover the costs of the redevelopment, which it hopes will be completed in 2020. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.